Hello everyone and welcome to another video on Python programming. In this video we will be covering the topic of serialization in Python. Now object serialization is uh, very simply put when we want to convert a data structure or an object type uh, and we want to translate this into a form that is uh, that can be stored in, 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 a, in a memory such as a, uh, a file or a memory buffer. Uh, later, we could uh, deserialize this uh, particular file and reconstruct the original object out of it. Now, in Python, this is done. Object serialization is done by converting the state of any object into a byte stream. This byte stream can be further stored in any file-like objects such as a disk file or memory stream. It can also be transmitted via sockets. Deserialization, as I mentioned earlier, is the process of reconstructing the object from the byte stream. Now in Python, we refer to the serialization and deserialization by the terms pickling and unpickling. So the pickle module, which is which is a module that is a part of the standard library of Python, um, it provides functions for serialization, uh, such as the dump and the dumps function, and also for deserialization with uh, load and loads. Uh, the data format of pickle module is uh, specific to, it's very Python specific, and so programs that are not written in Python may not be able to deserialize the um, uh, pickle data properly. And it's also considered unsecure to unpickle data from uh, unauthenticated sources. So in this example here, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to the, I'm going to take the dictionary object, uh, which is uh, represented by DCT and its byte representation will be stored in a file called pickled.txt. And uh, we were also gonna enable the write and binary mode preemptively. So if you can see here, first I'm importing the pickle package and then I'm opening um, a file pickle.txt and write in binary mode. Um, then I create this dictionary and I'm going to dump this dictionary into that particular file. And then I'm going to basically close the file. So this uh, executing this would do this. Now it's important to note a pickle file cannot is not a human uh, readable file. A, a computer can understand this, but it's uh, some so the byte representation of any object or data type cannot be um, read by a human in plain sight. So this next part is where, where I'm going to deserialize or I'm going to unpickle the uh, file pickle.txt. So again, I'm importing pickle. I'm opening, opening this file in uh, read in binary mode. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load this into D. Um, this will basically in a way deserialize whatever was there in pickle.txt. And once I have unloaded it in D, I'm going to print what's the content of D, which should be my uh, original dictionary itself. So when I execute this, you can see that printing D prints my original dictionary that we had before. And it's important to note since dictionaries are uh, unordered, so dictionary objects don't retain the order of insertion of keys. So in the way, so the way we enter the keys inside the dictionary uh, when we create it is not maybe the same way that we will see the the order of the key, the key value pairs when we actually unload it. Now there exists a uh, dumps function inside the pickle module that pickles Python data to a string representation. So we're going to do that in this uh, next piece of code. So I'm importing the dumps function from uh, the pickle module and I have my same dictionary. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dump this dictionary into DCT string and I'm going to print DCT string uh, to show you like what exactly uh, a string representation of this dictionary would typically look like. So when you execute this, um, you see this uh, something very cryptic. So this is basically uh, what we mean by the string representation. Um, of course, we can use the loads function again to unpickle whatever we just did and uh, get the original uh, dictionary representation of this particular string. So that's what we're doing in this piece of code. And as you can see, we get back our dictionary over here. So now in our second example, what we're going to do is um, we are going to create slightly more complex data structures and we are going to do some uh, serialization, deserialization on them. So we have this function called store data where uh, we initialize two dictionaries called Omkar and Jagdish uh, with some certain key value pairs. Um, now we create another uh, another dictionary, empty dictionary called DV, which will be like a database. And now this DV has uh, two keys again called Om Omkar and Jagdish once again. And now if you notice, my keys, my new keys are Omkar and Jagdish, but their values are these new dictionaries again. So um, we're, we're basically storing a dictionary within a, a dictionary, so as to speak. So once we have done that, what we're going to do is we're going to create a uh, another file called um, 
example pickle and we're going to uh, create it in uh, binary mode. Now, once we've done that, we're going to dump this, this dictionary db into uh, this, uh, this file called uh, db file where we have uh, opened basically where we're going to store uh, the, the serialized representation of uh, this dictionary called db and then we're going to close. So this is what store data will do when we call this function. And in load data, what we're going to do is we're going to print out um, what each key and what uh, what it represents. So um, we're going to basically uh, deserialize in the load data function. We're going to deserialize whatever we just serialized in the previous function. So when we execute this, we should basically get something like uh, omkar followed by this sort of an arrow sign and whatever the dictionary that we have assigned to omkar is. Similarly for Jagdish as well. So when we do store data, it will basically do the serialization process. Um, and when we do load data, it should do the deserialization and print out the uh, original, the DB dictionary that we created in store data over here. So let's uh, execute these two. Oops, I did not execute the load data. So now it should work. Yeah. So if you see now when I, when I have executed load data, I get back. Um, so basically from store data, I first serialized my whole file into a particular file called db file. And once I have done that, I have uh, deserialized it using the load data function over here. So yeah, that was the, uh, that's an introduction on uh, Python object serialization. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, uh, drop a like and subscribe to our channel and uh, share the message of this channel. Share it with your friends so we can reach more learners such as yourself. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.